So, hi everyone. Um, haven't done a video in a while. I'm actually working on a couple of videos. I'm just waiting for things to come in the mail, mostly seeds. <laughs> um, this is this honestly, this is a surprise video. I ordered these plants probably like Mother, the weekend of Mother's Day. They're from a nursery called Glasshouse Works. Glasshouse Works propagates their plants on demand. So unlike most nurseries who propagate, let's say a hundred of a plant and they sell that hundred, these guys only propagate what you order. So the reason why it takes so long is because you're waiting for the plant to root in or germinate or um, settle down from a division. Um, so yeah, let's see what I got. There's the invoice. We'll go over that in a bit. They package their plants up in newspaper which is pretty environmentally friendly so let's see let's see what we got okay. okay we have a stick ah that's not good news okay that's honestly a little bit disappointing because that's just a stick oh Packaging is kind of messy. Look at all this paper. My green I pretty cleaned my greenhouse yesterday. Okay, we have some green right here. Let's see. This says Acrylegia vulgaris leprechaun gold. I did not order this one. I guess they sent this as a freebie, which is pretty cool. This one, I think you could grow it from seed. It's different from other columbines because it's actually variegated. So this is this is pretty interesting. That saved me some money this winter because I was actually thinking of huh, ordering the seed. Okay. Oh, this guy does not look good at all. This one is Penularia tripartite. Yeah, it's an error right so I'm not that worried about this guy I see when I um repot it how the bulb is it has a bulb so if the top looks like shit that's okay as long as the bulb is okay okay Let's see this guy why right, my phone's going everywhere so I'm doing this one handed Okay. This one did not come with a label. I have no idea what this is. Looks healthy though. Okay. Look at that. That is pretty. Let's see which one this one is. This is Salvia Narada Volcano. That's a small salvia. Grows almost like a dandelion. Uh, really pretty. And I believe it's self seeds. So that's interesting. Oh, okay. This is one I've been hoping to get my hands on since. Woo! Since I first found out that begonias could actually be hardy outside. There we go. This is begonia grandis. Subspecies, I believe, grandis as well? No, this one is subspecies evansinii. Really nice um, shape plant. Look at that. Look at the colors on that leaf. That is nice. That's pipe from stress, but... In the fall, that's how that plant gets to. It has little pink flowers and it forms little bulbs on the joints of the stems as it ages. So that, that is nice. Okay, let's see what else is in here. A euphorbia. Huh, look at the poor thing is floppy. This is euphorbia. If my thing could focus, euphorbia polychroma forms a mound 
um, yellow flowers in spring. Really pretty. And it looks, my phone won't focus. It looks pretty stressed. So I probably repot that today. Now what is this? I did this order so long ago that I can't even remember the things I bought and I think they sent me some freebies too. Oh, this is another begonia. This begonia, it's supposed to be hardy and it's actually begonia sempervirums. If you guys are familiar with that one, that's the one that they sell as a bedding annual. Really short, really dumpy little things. I don't like them, but this one is supposedly a different type and this one's called um, my phone will focus. Carlin. And again, it's supposedly hardy. So that's pretty interesting to add some hardy begonias to the yard. Okay. Let's see. Looks like we have some type of grass right here. And then my phone will focus. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, this one's Brizia Midii. If. I could stop shaking and if the phone could refocus. This is, um, it's not sea oats. It's quaking oats. Pretty plant. And all these, unfortunately, I probably won't be planting them in the ground. I need to plant them in their own pots so they could grow and heal. They will probably be planted next spring. But, eh, pa patience is the name of the game when you're gardening. And I mean, I waited so long for these guys to come in. This is Crocosmia lucifer. And it looks like it's dormant. I bet you this other one is also Crocosmia lucifer. The one that I said at the beginning that it was dead. It's, if it is Crocosmia lucifer, it's not dead, it's dormant. And that's okay. Because that means it wake up in spring. Here's another grass. You guys haven't, uh, can't tell. <laughs> I, I like grasses a lot. This is Carex grayi. It's a native to America and it's actually not a grass. It's a grass-like plant. So let me correct myself on that one. We'll probably have a video about differences of Carex's someday. Oh, Carex's grasses and Juncus's. Here's another plant. Let's get rid of all this paper. Look at that. Oh, it has a flower. I didn't even notice that. That's a nice flower. Which one is this one? I don't think I ordered this one. What is this? I can't read the tag. Double. Oh, it's a double balloon flower. That's pretty. That is pretty. Well, I guess Glasshouse Works sends freebies, which is awesome. Like, they're going to get my business again, regardless of the waiting time. And I mean, some of the plants look a little bit beaten, but if you take care of your stuff, it'll be fine. Oh, this one's cool. I didn't order this one here. This is a uh, Rutii Variegatus. Super drought tolerant. Only danger with this plant is some people are sensitive to the leaf, to their skin, that they will get blisters. So, um, yeah, be careful with that. Okay, you look, my greenhouse is a mess. Okay, I think we're getting to the last couple of plants. And I mean, that's awesome that they sent me free stuff. Like, shoo! Ah, this is Penicina. Ah, my phone won't focus. Sorry, you guys. Hello. <laughs> it's a Penicina. And it's, uh... Mardu guy. It's a cultivar. Really nice dark purpley red flowers. And I think we're on the last plant, which is probably my favorite. This one is a native to the Great Plains. Look at that look at the size of that leaf. This is a plant that they call the compass plant. Has large yellow daisy flowers and it's a it's a monster of a plant once it gets actually like 
growing. So this is going to look really impressive in the yard. And the birds love to eat the seed heads. Is there anything else in here? Nope, that's it. So there we go. Glass house works. They really outdone themselves. Even with the waiting time and everything, it was worth it. Yes, some of the plants are beaten up, but I mean, they sent them in the middle of summer, so you, they, they're going to be beaten up, but none of them are dead. Dormant, yeah, but not dead. And honestly, I think the best part of growing plants is to bring something that was struggling or is burning, taking off, and just you're the one who's making it really take off, not some nursery man. So round of applause for Glasshouse Works. They will be getting my business again. Um, thank you for watching. Sorry for all the shakiness. Um, let's just go over the plants one more time. It has some grasses, two hardy begonias, some freebies, balloon flowers, salvias, columbine, coscomania. Yeah, this was this was impressive. So thanks for watching. Check out their website. You're going to find a lot of awesome things. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment below. Have a good one.